igual Tienen moña Tienen feria Y mentira que al final Ellos tan, 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 tan a otro nivel Yo, what up guys? This is Gabby from Team Death Note And I am here bringing you another deck profile of um, Fuse Samasu It's with the um, new cards that came out in the expansion pack um, the deck is blue green actually. Um, it's a different way of how to play the decks, a different way of um, how to see how it goes. Um, you know, it's not a top tier deck, but the deck is actually more competitive and um, you can have some fun while playing this deck. So let's start off. The leader, for you guys that don't know what Fuse Samus will do, um, he's a 10k body. You can yank one card from your life, put it into your drop area. Um, if that card is blue, you get to draw a card. In this deck, you don't really want to do that, you know. Um, you let your opponent hit you. Um, you run a couple of cards that let you draw some cards if your opponent doesn't want to attack you. Um, which is really not the case because um, your opponent wants to take away your life as fast as can. So when you can um, awaken, he just starts dimming down your your um, deck basically. And at two or less life, you get to awaken. When you awaken, you draw two cards, you flip them over. He's a 15k body. And um, he has the effect of um, when your opponent um, hits you, when he deals damage to your life, instead of you yanking one card from your life, you place the top five cards in your deck into the drop area. If he um, hits you for two, like a double strike, it's a top 10, triple strike is three, um, I mean, there's a top 15, and etc. etc. And when he attacks, you get to draw a card. So, all right, let's go down to what the deck does. First, um, let's see blue. Blue, we are running four. Objection, of course, because um, you want to be ahead of your opponent. Um, you want to mana ramp as fast as you can um, so you can be in the lead of um, energy than what your opponent does because you're trying to take down your energy. Well, you try to take down your opponent. Then, four central beans for reasoning to um, untapping and for those defensive plays. Um, if your opponent does like tokens or he's trying to bomb rush you, he's a lot of 15Ks out there. You know, one central bean can actually change the outcome of everything. We are running four weeks corrosion, four negates, because why not? Late game, um, if the game is still going on, you um, want to weeks corrosion, because you don't want to take away life, or if your opponent trying to hit you for critical, um, like a Vegeta player, you can just weeks corrosion him, because you know he's coming with that crit, and you want cards to go to your hand, not to the drop area from your life area. Four, boost attack piccolos, because let's face it, 10k draw, you need to have them in the deck. For unyielding spirit trunks for you to make those plays to one tap because sometimes you want to have some energy out there um, to do a weak corrosion, to do an extra sense of being, or to call somebody out. Now, um, this is where the deck changes a little bit. Time Patrol trunks from the new expansion set, two of him. Um, it's good because you know, since cards go into the drop area, um, this deck actually can make use of the drop area um, you take out trunks he's your drawing factor so you know that way the deck could be a little bit more speedy three of the raging spirits on gohan for defensive plays your opponent attacks um and if he does like a further intersecting chomp but you don't want to take that hit you can just tap one call out the gohan you'll be at 20k um probably you can combo with a bull that you have on the field another 5k from hand and you get to stop that attack, and then that go on his the field, potentially destroying one of his battle cards he has out there. Three, ultimate judgment jacko, because like I said, sometimes your opponent want to come with some funny bum rushing, and what you do is that you jackal the cards and put it back to his hand, um, and he might be tapped out because he's thinking that he's going for game, and no, you turn around the game and you win. Now, we are running two. Joyful Strike Goku Black. Joyful Strike Goku Black in this deck actually makes a difference, I'm not going to lie to you. Because um, that late game, when you're trying to push for the win, you Joyful Strike, take, um, you, you, you inflict two damage from yourself. So, this was where, where that card actually goes good with the Fuse Samasu. Because um, when you inflict damage, you just dump the top 10 cards from your, from, from, from your deck into the drop area if you're awakened if you're not awakened you're at three damages you go into this the two cards go to your hand um, um, and you awaken and you get to do your play now if you do not have the joyful strike what I can recommend you is putting in 
two of the golden freezers if you have the golden freezers and if you do have the joyful strike and you don't want to see the ratio of two you can always bump them up to three or four depending on what you want you can take out a jackal or you can take out a gohan and you can just run it that way now going into the more drawing factor we are running four energy booster Majin Buu's because like I said earlier you need to draw to see your pieces now going into green this is where the deck changes up. Going into green, we are running four bundle of curiosities on Goku. Because, um, like I said, he's a drawing factor. You run four of him. If you don't want to run four, you can bump him down to three. Same thing. Four Super Saiyan Goten. Because, um, let's face it, this dude with this dude is actually very good. Call him out. Yank two life. Untap six. Call out a Goten. Untap two. Draw a card. You're still at three. So possibly you can attack, do an unyielded, untap another one. Um, you still have four energies up there left. So you can actually combo if you want to combo to go for the win. Or if you want to um, call out another unit that you have in hand, you can. Two of the psyched up go tanks. If you're at four, this card is ideal. Because you can um, triple strike, go ten, unyielded. Call out this gold tanks and it's just swing, swing, swing. He draws you a card, he draws you two, and you know he actually gets to pop. So that's good numbers. Going into the other side of green, we are running four of the trunks and four, um, two of the trunks. Sorry, two of the gold ten. This card is actually very good. The gold ten, I'm gonna tell you now. Um, the gold ten, his attack, um, his ability is that when he attacks. Check the top seven cards in your deck for a Trunks use. So it's either him or him. And you add it to your hand. So it's good because it lets you search out for the unyielding Trunks to put it to your hand when you need to untap. The end of the uh, um, Then his active main effect is that you can actually put him back to your hand. So potentially putting it where your opponent does not destroy that card. He can be used later on for combo reasoning. Or he can be used later on to... Um, Fusion with um, this trunks to call him out just for four instead of six. Now this trunks is good because his ability is that he goes out there, he attacks, and when you attack, you can show one Sun Goten from hand, and you can destroy and you can KO one of your opponent's size three or less battle cards that's on the field. Now that is actually very good. Let's say if your opponent has a Android 16 or has some of these 3k on uh, um, um, some of these th um, size 3 drops and you don't want them out there so you swing at your opponent you show a Goten and you pop them now if you have this Goten in hand which is the last two green cards um, you, sh you reveal him you KO a size 3 or less combo with him and KO another size 3 or less so it's actually two cards being KO'd um, so it's very good and you also run him for this and yield then unless you don't have these two in hand. So you can do the fusion between him and him because they both have the same power level 10Ks. So you could call him out for four. So yeah, guys. Um, this is my Samasu deck. Like I said, it's a different approach on Samasu. Um, blue green. I don't think there's, I don't think there's a blue green Samasu out there build. And um, yeah, give me your thoughts about this deck. Um, um, tell me your opinions. What's the change? If you want to see some changes, um, if you want to see the deck in action, just let me know. And we will actually do some matches for you guys. But yeah, this is Gabby from Team Death Note. Peace out. Que lo que es fortuna.